when the leader is able to achieve the desired aims or objectives of the group, then we say that there has been effective leadership. And we are saying that these traits or what we are about looking at are the things that would ensure or that would testify that indeed there is effective leadership. So let's start by looking at the first trait. The first trait says that effective or under effective leadership, there is the sharing of vision, sharing of vision. We expect every leader to have a vision, as in, has a mental picture of where the group is supposed to get to. The leader has a picture in his mind of how it should be done. Now, there would be effective leadership if the leader is able to make clear to the followers exactly what they intend to achieve in the future. If the leader is able to articulate his goals, vision and dreams to the followers, that is where the followers would be part of the system and will be able to contribute their bit in order for effective leadership to take place. And so if you want to know whether there is effective leadership in a particular system, one thing we look out for is, has the leader been able to share his vision with the followers or the people with whom he is working with? And so if you are a leader and you want to be effective in your leadership, you would have to learn to share your vision with your followers. And that is one characteristic of effective leadership. We want to look at the second one. Another characteristic of effective leadership or effective leaders and how they demonstrate their effectiveness is the fact that there is the demonstration of integrity. The demonstration of integrity. In every effective leadership system, the leader is able to articulate his stand. The leader is able to demonstrate to the people his principles and is able to stay within that. The leader is able to let the followers know that he has a consistent character. 